I was pretty good at basic math in school. Now, basic math, just the word for math is suhak. At least all the way up until I started calculus in college, I was really good. When I started calculus, I just, I just couldn't. <laughs> so we're going to be learning the basic and uh, most essential math related terms in Korean that you should definitely know. In fact, even if you're still a beginner and you're still learning, you know, basic things, I would still write these down for later. They're going to come in handy. So let's start with something very, very basic. Uh, one plus one equals two. The way you do this in Korean is surprisingly simple and just like how you would in English, pretty much. Note that when you're doing math, you're going to be using only Sino-Korean numbers. So one plus one, let's start with 일. 일 plus 더하기 one, 일. Then, in order to say equals, all you need is the topic marker, actually. So you would say 일 더하기 일, 은, 이. Two. And depending on the situation, you can just finish it like that. 일 더하기 일은 이. And you're done. Or if you're saying it as an actual sentence, then you can finish the sentence by using the verb 이다, to be. So you can say 일 더하기 일은 이입니다, for example. And really that's all you need to know in order to do basic arithmetic, 산수. So let's go over each of these then one at a time. We just did plus 더하기. Tohagi literally means adding something, so addition. Next we have begi. Begi means subtracting or removing something. So if you were to say one minus one equals zero, you would have ir begi ir un yong zero. For multiplication, you would use the word kopagi, which means multiplying. So if you were to say three times three equals nine, you would say sam. Kopagi sam un ku. And then finally, for division, you would use nanugi, which means sharing or dividing something. So if you were to say five divided by two, you would get o nanugi i nun. And then five divided by two is 2.5. How would you say 2.5 in Korean though? You're going to need one more word, and that is chom. Note, this is actually pronounced as chom and you would say it at the same place you would say it at in English. So if you wanted to say five divided by two is 2.5, you would just say o nanugi inen i jum o. Okay, let me clear the board and now we're going to be talking about fractions. Remember in elementary school, you'd do math and they would like give you M&Ms to practice with and then you would eat them when it's finished. You would think the teacher didn't want you to do that, but actually the teacher didn't really care. And meanwhile, the teacher's like, I'm just glad they're paying attention. Okay, so let's talk about fractions and let's start with this one. One over four or a fourth. Well, in Korean, you're actually going to say fractions starting from the bottom. And the way that you're gonna say it is using the word bun. Bun means a part or a portion of something. So in English, we would say one fourth. Well, in Korean, you would say four portions and of those, one. And the way you do that is like this. Number, so this will be the bottom number, pun a number. Sa pun a ir. So out of four portions, one. Let's do one more quick example. Let's just do three over eight. So we would have pal pun a sam. That's really all there is to doing fractions. Making percentages is even simpler. You just use the word percent. Percent. So if you wanted to say 10%, you would just say ship percent. That's really all there is to it, it's easy. Now, you might also hear this word, puro. So, shippuro. And that also has the same meaning as percentage, but you'll see both of them. But we're not done. There are a few more things that are really important that I want to make sure that you know. The verb, kesanhada. Kesanhada means to calculate. In fact, it's the same verb, this kesan part, is the same thing that's used in the word kesangi, meaning a calculator. And this word kesanhada is also used when you're paying at a restaurant. For example, when you're asking someone to total up your bill to ring you up, you could say kesanhe juseyo, literally, please calculate it. Or when you're going to say, I'm gonna pay, you can say kesan harkeyo. This would be something you would say to the server. So, hey, I'm gonna pay now, kesan harkeyo. Literally, I'm going to calculate my bill. Another important word you should know is kongsik. Kongsik just means a formula, uh, specifically a mathematical formula. And let's do one more thing. I'm gonna clear the board. To say that something is to the power of something, 
For example, you want to say something squared, so that would be to the power of two. Well, literally what you're saying is the number power of whatever number. If you wanted to say something like two to the power of three. So two's three power. So ye samsung, two to the power of three. Everything though in this video is pretty common knowledge in Korea, but did I miss anything important about math? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, I'm not a math teacher, I'm a Korean teacher, but thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.